In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly where you should live when moving to Grand Rapids. So stay tuned. What's happening everybody? This is Vaughn Greathouse, your local West Michigan real estate agent. Hey, I am downtown Grand Rapids and I'm going to be showing you exactly where you should live when you come to Grand Rapids. Now, I get calls, texts, emails, messages, Facebook messages from people all the time who are looking to move to Grand Rapids and I absolutely love it. So if you're interested in moving to Grand Rapids, tap that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you stay in tune with all the videos talking about Grand Rapids and the surrounding areas. I'm here to help you, so keep in the loop and let's get into the video. All right, you guys, we are starting off at the Blue Bridge. Now the Blue Bridge is smack dab downtown Grand Rapids. Downtown Grand Rapids is a great place, a beautiful city. Whether you're new to the area or you're visiting, whether you're relocating, this is just an awesome, awesome place. So take a peek at some of my other videos to see exactly what this city has to offer and how it will serve you if you're thinking about moving here. The first place that I want to start is right in the middle of Grand Rapids. Now, Grand Rapids as a whole is separated into four different parts. And those four different parts are the northeast side, the northwest side, the southeast side, and the southwest side. But again, we have downtown, so you can't forget downtown Grand Rapids, so that's the extra part there. Now, north and south are divided by Fulton Avenue, which runs all the way through the city, all the way down, and then east to west is split by Division Avenue, and then Division later on the north turns into Plainfield Avenue. The first place we're gonna start is right downtown Hartside. Now downtown Hartside is probably the main place you've ever visited or the place you wanna visit first. There's a Van Andel Arena, 20 Monroe, Rockwell's Republic, a lot of great things in the Hartside area as far as downtown. There's even Hardside Park, which is huge. You can play basketball. I take my daughter there, uh, play basketball. We fly the drone. Oh yeah, even have a splash pad for the kids to come out there and enjoy. Very artistic, very cool place. Uh, now they've had some homeless issues there that I want to make known so you know ahead of time. There's some historic districts where the buildings have been just left around. I mean, they haven't really been keeping them up 100%, but they're doing a lot of work between Degage, Mel Trotter, Dwelling Place. Those are some organizations that are helping keep everything contained so that we have the best outcome and the city's expanding and growing each and every day. Now, in Hartside, we have about 3,000 residents. Mostly a lot of the people are renting but for the homeowners, the price, the median home value is about 214 and then the median rent is 885. Now, a really cool thing that they've added right downtown is the Studio Park Apartments. Very awesome area, brand new shops, restaurants, little juice bars, a great place to be in Hartside. Another good thing is that everything is walkable. I always like to run next to the river. It's a really, really nice scene right in the morning, but they have these little birds, these red winged blackbirds that fly around. So you gotta look out for those. <laughs> now, Grand Rapids downtown is an awesome place to live. If you're visiting or you wanna live there, this is for the active lifestyle, someone who's a, kind of like a busy young professional or someone who is maybe retiring and wants to get used to it. Now let's get into the west side. The southwest side here in Grand Rapids has a lot of culture, a lot of history, a lot of things, excuse me, in regards to things to do. The Mines Golf Course is a very, very popular place out there that a lot of people go to golf if you wanna get some holes in. The John Ball Zoo is fantastic. It's a beautiful place where they've done so many renovations to lately. Take your kid there, have some chicken nuggets and fries enjoy the day it's a great scene they even have a red panda now 
as far as the southwest side, there's a nice little coffee shop that's historically known, The Bitter End. It's a very cool place where students go. Another great thing is the downtown market. Now the downtown market is a really cool place where you can go, you can get food, you can hold a venue, hold an event, you can hold, you can get some, some nice pop here. There's some really, really cool things. Yes, we say pop in Michigan. Uh, fish markets, ice cream shops, produce sections, so many cool things about downtown Southwest Side. Another thing I'd like to point out as far as the housing, it's the type of person who would move down there are people who have lived downtown and kind of want to move that next step away from downtown, but still want to have downtown be within their reach. So a lot of older homes in that area, people that are kind of moving up, but still want that downtown lifestyle. It's a fantastic place to make that transition, kind of get some equity, build it up, and then move on to other things as far as their lifestyle. But downtown on the west side, southwest side is a great area, very diverse area as well. The population in that area is about 13,700, with the median home value being 162, 912, and then 746 for the median rent. All right, let's move over to the west side. The west side is the best side, as they say. Uh, it's a fantastic place. It's right off of the river. You still have a little more of that hustle and bustle, young professionals out there, places like Butcher's Union, places like Bridge Street Market, a lot of activity. And it is very heavy in culture as far as the Polish culture out there. They migrated in the 1850s. So it's a lot of that traditional feel as you go down to the, the uh, south or the northwest side, excuse me. Great place out there very uh, ranch style homes, a lot of older homes. This is the Broadway bar, very cool place as far as a lot of the decorations that they have and a lot of the themes that they have. You can really enjoy yourself. They make you feel at home there. Now, another thing is there's a lot of home flipping. Since those homes are older, there's a lot of house flippers out there who are making apartments and making living easier as people are moving into town who wanna be in these areas. This place is Union Square, and I want you guys to check this out. All right, so right now I am in front of Union Square Condos. This actually won an award for one of the best redevelopments in Grand Rapids, Michigan. What started off as a high school, which this building here was built back in 1867, later, uh, became uh, obviously the school ended in 1968 and ever since then there was just this big gap and it was an empty school so when they redeveloped it they put so many great things into this building why don't you walk with me they put 16 foot ceilings in there huge windows rooftop pool so many new updates hardwood floors throughout you still have that high school vibe when you're in there because they have a lot of uh, trophy lockers and so many cool features to this place when you're in here you definitely know that you're at Union Square High School and it still has a lot of that modern feel that you want to really get into so this is one of the places where you can easily get finance they have FHA financing a lot of the the price ranges for this building range anywhere from the two hundred thousand all the way up to about five or six hundred thousand for some of the units but get in touch with me, I'll be able to give you some of the specifics. Let's check it out. Awesome, now the west side overall is a fantastic place to be. A lot of people like the activity, a lot of growth, restaurants, food, it's super walkable. The northwest side has about 16,500 folks there. The average price, uh, the home value, 115,424 and that median rent looks good as well. Now let's move over to the southeast side. Southeast side is definitely going to be a bigger, broader area that has a lot of diversity as far as the price ranges, a lot as the culture and things like that. So these older homes that are in the area are part of the historic district where in order to upgrade these homes, they have to get special permits from the city before they do the outside because they wanna preserve that, keep those areas in tip top shape make sure that the people in there are caring for their homes and keep that culture in Grand Rapids so it's a good pinnacle 
of exactly what Grand Rapids is and being the epitome of what you get when you come to Grand Rapids. Now, just like that, we have nice dining restaurants. We have different plazas that we have. Think places like Royal or Donkey, uh, Mexican food. We have the Winchester. There's salons and there are hair shops and boutique shops and different places that you really, really, really enjoy that are super walkable, different breweries like Elk Brewing Company is there. And then if you don't drink, we have this awesome place and it is called the Outside Coffee Company. This is where you can sit outside, you can grab a cup of coffee, read a book, they have a huge selection. People just love that area, just sit down there in the day, soak up some sun and enjoy the day. Now again, these are more older homes in this area and in this area, we have a very, very, very uh, sought after market for flippers and home flippers are making these houses better, making these areas a lot more comfortable. Again, in the East Town, Southeast area, or it's just a lot of good places to go as far as getting your lunch, as far as getting coffee, very, like I said, everything's close by. Now in the southeast is a little bit more of the hipster. Now the northeast side. The northeast side is awesome. It has that country living, but yet you're still close to the city. A lot of the homes are very spaced out. A lot of the homes are very well built. The lots are just really, really big. You get a lot of that bang for your buck as far as affordability in the area. Another great thing about the northeast side is that the schools, the school systems out there, some very nice schools as far as Forest Hill Eastern, Forest Hills Northern. The homes are very well built, tight knit communities. This is if you're on that higher price range and you want to do somewhere between the 300 all the way up into the million dollar price range. You can find a great home in a great school system. This is definitely one of the places I would highlight for you. One of the cool things about the Northeast side as well is that the Knapps Corner area is a place where you can definitely enjoy yourself as far as doing the shopping, going out to hang out on the weekends if you want, take the kids to Buffalo Wild Wings. If you're a golfer, there's tons of golf courses that are out there. Urban Fire Pizza, Celebration Cinema is huge. So all the newest movies, they even have a little bar in there that you can have a drink before you have the movie, great seating. Some other restaurants such as Bravo or even P.F. Chang's is out there. So it's a great place right off of the East Belt Line that you have easy access to the highways. You have Fulton Street Market, which isn't that far from there. Aberdeen Park area is more of the entry level area where people do not move. They even just put in a new splash pad for the kids out there to have a good time and enjoy themselves. I, I really, really enjoy the Northeast side Aberdeen Park area because the homes are very meticulously taken care of. They're some of the most coveted parts of town as far as people wanting to get on the Northeast side. Some older brick homes that are a little more expensive towards Riverside Park, but the Northeast side is a definitely a place you'll love when you come to visit. Hey, I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Like I said, I get texts, emails, Facebook messages, and calls all the time from people who are moving to the Grand Rapids area. So if you're interested in moving to the Grand Rapids area, give me a call, text me, whatever way you want to get a hold of me, and I will definitely be able to help you find exactly what lifestyle will fit your needs. Until the next video, we'll see you guys soon.